John Lawrence Rentol. John Lawrence Rentol, 6 July 1845, 15 April 1926, was a member of the Presbyterian clergy and a poet. Early life. John Lawrence Rentol was born in Govug, County Londonderry, Ireland, full son of the Reverend James Butchin Rentol, D.D., and his wife Sarah, Nay Wilson. He was baptised on 10 August 1845 in his father's church, now known as Main Street Presbyterian, Govug as the baptismal register records. He was educated at Queen's College, Belfast, where he graduated Bachelor of Arts in 1867 and then in 1868 with first class honours and the Gold Medal for English Literature, History and Economic Science. He also did some postgraduate work at Leipzig, Germany, 1878-79, en route to Australia. Career Rental was ordained a minister of the Presbyterian Church of England in 1872 and became incumbent of St George's Church, Southport, Lancashire. While at Southport, Rental married Annie Isabel, daughter of D.T. Raffray on 30 October 1878. The wealthy congregation of St George's Church, East St Kildare, Victoria, Australia, had been seeking a minister from the British Isles and Rental was nominated by London preacher Oswald Dykes. Rental and his wife arrived in Australia in 1879. Five years later, Rental was appointed professor in the Theological Hall, Ormond College, University of Melbourne, his subjects being Hebrew and Old Testament criticism, New Testament Greek and Christian philosophy. In 1884, Rental was given the degree of Doctor of Divinity by the Theological Faculty of Ireland. At Ormond College, Rental had a great influence over many generations of candidates for the Presbyterian ministry and was a conspicuous figure in all the councils of his church. He showed great ability in conducting religious controversies, for which he was equipped with wide reading and knowledge of the languages of the original texts. He stated once that he never entered on a fight willingly, but once the contest had started he fought with great vigour and, many of his friends thought, with a full appreciation of the joy of combat. It was not for nothing that he was popularly known as Fighting Larry, but he had noted what his opponents and never bore rancour. He was made Moderator General of the Presbyterian Church of Australia for 1912-14 and when World War I broke up was appointed Chaplain General of the Australian Imperial Force. Rental's last years were clouded by the long illness of his wife following an accident and the nervous breakdown of his younger son Ormond, a use of extraordinary promise, while studying for his examinations. Rental died suddenly on 15 April 1926, leaving a widow, two sons and two daughters. He was buried in St Kildare Cemetery following a funeral service at Scots Church, Melbourne. Legacy Rental was the author of From Fort Lyon's Poems of North and South 1914 and at Vancouver's World and Other Poems of South and North 1917. His poetry has been praised, a good example of it is Australia, which was included in the Oxford Book of Australasian Verse. In prose, Rental published in 1896 The Early Church and the Roman Claims, which ran into six editions. He also wrote The Church at Home, Prowse for Australian Households and several pamphlets. Rental was somewhat frail-looking, but was in reality strong and active, showing much endurance during his yearly trout fishing holidays in New Zealand. He was interested in the Australian Aborigines and all oppressed people, and incurred some odium by taking up the cause of the Boers at the time of the Second Boer War. Rental was a fun scholar, learning all his life, and his erudition, keen wit, versatility, strength of conviction and scorn of compromise made him a remarkable preacher and lecturer. As a debater, he had great readiness in retort, and in developing his argument his words flowed with an almost volcanic passion. In private life he was courteous, kindly and generous. His elder daughter, Annie Ratvey Rental, wrote verse with some ability. A list of volumes of her songs which were set to music will be found in Percival Sills' A Bibliography of Australasian Poetry and Verse. The younger daughter, Ida Sherborne, afterwards Mrs Ida Rentella became well known as an illustrator of fairy tales.